I think it's uh, important to get the right setup and the right balance between the global and the regional presence. Still, a lot of this business is regional, it's done locally. In, when it comes to details, terms, conditions, it's good to have a global partnership if you're having and talking big customers, but we shouldn't forget that most of the customer solutions actually come at a very local level and, and require us to be strong locally and regionally as well. We believe also in uh, what we call globalization. So we need to ensure that we can leverage the opportunities of global products, but we have to make sure that then they're appropriate for the local market. So there are different requirements, different demands, and I guess we probably see that in Europe more than any other region in the world. For example, uh, a global fleet manager may interact with country MDs, but the interaction with the person who really drives policy in a, a far-flung corner of the world is not necessarily a connection they have. And we actually help facilitate that through our local teams, through the global agreements, to basically bring everybody together to get a, a better control and a better grip on the policies that the customers want to roll out. The market goes more and more towards a worldwide approach, but still retaining some local peculiarities. I think an integrated uh, approach which, uh, which, uh, which give uh, coverage to all the market uh, through a centralized view is important, but still you have to have people locally to support uh, the specific needs. One of the major advantages is the negotiation process. It eases very much the negotiation both to the customer and to the manufacturer. And also I think it brings uh, also purchasing power to the customer. Regarding these advantages, uh, one of the clear one is the need from the customer to have all the subsidiaries under control to know uh, what is the fleet uh, in each one of the markets and then to control that all the markets uh, are aligned to what is agreed in the contract. We can support lots of different markets you know, with the right tools, with the right approaches. What we have to make sure is we tailor that approach to individual market conditions. So we, we can't, you can't take a one size fits all. For, for fleet, you know, we can we can learn from some very developed fleet markets that we have within within our company, and try and apply the good lessons to other markets. So I think you know, keep the global vision, learn from where we're strong, but then make sure that you look very closely in terms of local implementation to implement what's going to work. We support our customers because I think there is really a big a benefit for them. It's about uh, global reporting, it's about efficiencies uh, in economies of scale, but also in operational efficiencies. And certainly I think the one point of contact that we can offer for them is of crucial importance. Now the downside maybe is that for those companies it's harder to understand all of the local details. So that's a key thing where we also are helping them. We've got a single point of contact also in every single country around of the world. We have already signed a number of uh, agreements recently which um, prove uh, that there is more and more an increasing interest of our customers um, to be served uh, with one OEM or one group uh, in a global manner. Of course it is important that on the customer side they are also convinced that this is their strategy and they have the empowerment to develop these type of strategies.